So uh, I'm Lauren Sawson, uh, Dean of Osgoode Hall Law School, and it's a great pleasure uh, to be here in the home of Austin Cooper, a renowned uh, criminal uh, lawyer and a near lifelong art collector, uh, and uh, the amazing uh, pieces of art that are surrounding us here today and a bit of the story behind them. Uh, what brought you to Osgoode and what were your reflections of, uh, of the law school experience? My good buddy said to me, well, look, come on to Osgood. I said, no, no, my dad's got a business and I work for him during the summer and I think I'll stay there. He said, come on, we'll have a good time. I said, well, okay, I'll flip a coin. Heads, I go to law, law school. Tails, I stay with my father. I flip the coin. It's heads, so where's the law school? I swear <laughs> that's how I got to law school. Collecting art was a passion even at that time in your, in your life. How did that come about? Well, it came about, I guess my mother was not a great art maven, but she befriended an artist and she used to put all of her pastels, her drawings, I remember them all over the floor. And they must have had an influence on me because I still remember them and I, I've actually picked up a couple of, of Lillian Freeman's works. Do you remember though the first uh, work that you parted with your own um, hard-earned capital to, to actually buy. The one above my head. I bid on this piece at age 19 or 20, and I got it for 75 bucks. I never thought of it, of any of them as an investment. I bought them because I liked them, and I couldn't get them out of my head. Imagine you're speaking with a student who's walking along the hallway and sees a Hartman or a Freeman or one of these what do you hope uh, they see in it? Or what do you hope the effect might be on, on them? I hope they'll appreciate it. I hope that they can't forget what they saw, have to go and see it again, or become enamored of it. Thank you so much for uh, sharing a bit of that story. And it's of course uh, such a pleasure to uh, have gotten to know you around uh, this gift. And I think you're a great role model of someone who's comfortable in his own skin and the art is a nice demonstration of that. So I hope uh, students get comfortable in their own skin and that uh, connecting with your art helps them along that journey. I hope so.